Well, for the third time in as many weeks, crews battle a massive fire in Stockton. The most recent fire broke out early this morning at a pallet factory. Arson investigators are now on scene trying to figure out how this thing started. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live for us in Stockton with the latest on what we know. Marissa? Yeah, good evening, guys. It's been about 12 hours since this fire started. And crews are still out here battling hot spots. I just checked in with the fire chief, and he tells us the wind that we're seeing in the area is not helping the situation at all. The pallets you're seeing here are very flammable, and they keep reigniting. So they brought back in the big guns, the trucks back out here within the past hour. They've been pounding the water on the situation here, hoping to put this out once and for all. Again, as you mentioned, this is the third fire in as many weeks. Crews have been working hard. And tonight, neighbors tell us they are sick of being scared of what's next. We came outside and all we've seen is flames up in the air. I was scared. Like, I didn't want anybody to get hurt or anything. This group of friends tells us they woke up to this pallet fire just inches from their homes. I was scared. At first, I thought it was an earthquake because my grandma was like, hurry up, get up, get up. She was like, come on, we got to go outside. They all live across the street and say they're thankful to fire crews. Their homes and families are okay. It's like really hard. Like as Matt Khan was up for morning prayer when the fire started, he called 911 and captured the fire spreading on his cell phone. The heat shattered his windows and the roof of his home. I'm okay. My family's okay. My tenant, my neighborhood, they're all okay. This is the third large fire to break out in Stockton in the past few weeks. A paper recycling facility went up in flames at the port of Stockton. And another pallet yard, this one on West Scott Avenue, caught fire the next day. There's no word if they're all connected, but it's something investigators are looking into. I'm not aware of any correlation, so... But they will look into you know all our fires that we have just to make sure there's not something patterns or anything like that. The fire knocked down power lines, shutting off electricity to this area for hours. But neighbors say they're used to this and just sick of being scared of the next fire to hit their town. We have fires back there all the time. I mean, people have to lose their lives for them to do something about this place. We're always in fear. Okay, we're going to burn to death. Okay, so we're back out here live. Take a look at this smoke, and you can see a little bit of flame coming up. This is about 200 yards from where we're standing now. That is how far the hot spots keep picking up. And again, the wind is not helping fire crews as they try to put this out once and for all. Now, besides those two other fires that you just heard, or you just heard about, there was another one right here just around the corner from where we're standing that was also at a pallet yard. We're not sure whether it's the same owner. That fire destroyed about five homes in the area. Again, neighbors worried that the same thing keeps happening and they want this to stop once and for all. Back to yeah. you guys. Neighbors worried, fire crews busy. An active scene behind you, Marissa. Thanks live in Stockton for us.